What's up everybody, how's it going? Well, I figured I would do an unboxing on this one since we didn't do it with my wife's. Now, I had some wading boots that I've had for well over five years. They've seen a lot of river miles. And to be completely honest, I really needed to replace them because I was getting gravel on the inside of them and I didn't need to be putting a hole in my waders. So, we went and got these ones for my wife right here. And then I went ahead and got the Omnitrex soles for her and for myself and I put them on my old boots. Now I'll show you my old boots real quick. You can kind of get an idea of what I've been dealing with. They are extremely trash. They got holes in them and stuff like this. These were actually the buckskin version of the corker wading boot. And I do love these because they have the replaceable soles. But as you can see, I put the Omnitrex in them. But I just went and got a new pair. So I got a pair just kind of like my wife's. I didn't bother getting the buckskin ones. I just didn't need anything that spectacular. And when I bought my buckskins, they were on sale anyway. But I figured I'd show you something. This is what the boot looks like when you get them. They do come with multiple different soles depending on where you buy them. The ones that I just went and got happen to have the felt bottoms. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna use the felt. So I figured I'd just show you. You know, you get your corker box like this. Standard shoe box, there it is right there. Now what they usually do is they usually put a black line right here through whatever sole comes with it. Sometimes you'll get two soles, sometimes you could buy these with three soles. I just got these with the one because I already have the Omnitrex and the rubber soles. So I figured I'd just buy the ones with the felt soles. But it's actually pretty cool because like a normal shoe box, they're in there, okay? Now, these are the felts that come with them. Like I said in my other video, they are interchangeable. They've got these little clip tabs on them. And then this portion right here, you slip into the toe of the boot. And I'll show you real quick how that works. But check these out. They're pretty brand new, pretty pretty, and all that good stuff, man. So they're a pretty cool boot. They look exactly like my wife's. The brand is Corker. And what I like about these the most is the fact that you can change out the soles. But they've got this little notch right in here, and that's where this piece fits in. So usually what you do is you just grab this, and you kind of shove it in there just like that so that you've got your fit. And then on the side, it's got those little holes, and you really got to give it a good squeeze. All the way down the boot, squeeze it, squeeze it, make sure you hear them click. They do click when they go in. If they don't click, you didn't get it in all the way like that one right there. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a push. I heard it click and now it's in. So this is what they look like with the felt bottom. And like I said in my short, they do have the tab on the back. So what you would do is you would pull this just like that and fasten it so that they fasten to the back of the boot. So if your heel does get caught under a rock or anything like that, your sole doesn't rip off. But this is what they look like with the felt bottoms on them. Awesome boot, not gonna lie. They last a long time, especially if you take care of them. Don't forget to wash your boots when you go fishing different rivers either for the sake of cross-contaminating algaes and stuff like that within different rivers, especially when you got felt. You really got to scrub these things out really, really well. If you ever go to any angler shop, they usually have a bucket and a brush outside full of water. That's so you can scrub your boots clean. If they don't have a bucket of water, they got fresh water to rinse them off. But that's what they look like with the felt. So now I'm going to show you what they look like with the Omnitrex. So I already put the Omnitrex on this boot right here, just like that. Now I've used these once already. My wife was shocked when she put her pair on, and then she was laughing when she saw me stomping around the river and not slipping one bit just like it was dry land. But, like I said, they clip back there so you don't lose the sole. Same thing, they've got that little tab that you slip up underneath the toe of the boot just like that. Now, when you size these for your waders, if you're new to wader fishing, you always want to make sure you get one size bigger than your actual shoe size. And the reason why is because your wading socks are usually neoprene and they usually take up a good shoe size, okay? I wear a size 11, these are a size 12, okay? 
Now another cool thing that I saw about this when you buy it is they actually give you a neoprene patch. Not sure why, but they give you a neoprene patch. I thought that was kind of cool. But other than that, I've got some new boots to go wading in, so now I don't have to worry about gravel getting in and putting a hole in my waders. So let's see how long these last. I'll keep you guys posted. In the meantime, you take care. I'll see you next time. If you liked anything about this particular unboxing video, even the fact that I almost kicked myself in the face with a footless shoe, leave a like on it. Other than that, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget your notification bell and share this video with a friend, all right? Take care.